Hello students, glad to meet you again. Here, L. Jethruth Imelda Mary, Assistant Professor in Mathematics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Autonomous, Kadalur, Tamil Nadu. This video contains a topic on theory of equation for first year UG Physics in the paper Allied Mathematics 1, Part 2. From my previous video, that is in Part 1, you have learned how to solve a polynomial equation using the concept relations between roots and coefficients in theory of equation. Here in this video you are going to study about transformation of equation in theory of equation. What do you mean by transformation of equation? It means we transform the given equation f of x equal to 0 into another polynomial equation pi of y equal to 0 whose roots are symmetric functions of the given roots of f of x equal to 0 that is if alpha 1 alpha 2 etc alpha n or the n roots of the nth degree polynomial f of x equal to 0 then it is required to find an equation whose roots are beta 1, beta 2, comma beta 3, etc, beta n which are symmetric functions of the given roots alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n. For that, first we need to express beta 1 as a function of alpha 1 that is we write beta 1 is equal to g of alpha 1 similarly beta 2 is equal to g of alpha 2 etc and beta n is equal to g of alpha n. Now by means of relations between roots and coefficients we can eliminate x from the equations f of x equal to 0 and y is equal to g of x. Thus the resulting equation is a record 1. Here we are going to solve we are going to discuss few examples which il illustrates the methods of procedure. Example 1 If alpha, beta and gamma are the roots of the equation x cube plus px plus q is equal to 0 then form the equation whose roots are alpha plus beta into alpha plus gamma beta plus gamma into beta plus alpha and alpha plus gamma into alpha plus beta. So we are going to solve this problem using the above procedure. We are given that x cube plus px plus q is equal to 0 and also alpha, beta and gamma are the roots of the given cubic equation. Therefore by using the concept of relations between roots and coefficients so we can determine s1, s2 and s3 as follows. We know that s1 is equal to sigma alpha that is nothing but sum of the roots alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus 1 whole power 1 coefficient of x square. Since coefficient of x square is absent in the given equation therefore we have s1 is equal to 0. Next s2 which is nothing but sigma alpha beta which can be written as alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma that is equal to minus 1 the whole square coefficient of x. Here the coefficient of x is p therefore we get s2 is equal to p. Finally s3 is nothing but product of the roots that is alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus 1 the whole cube the constant term we have that is equal to minus q. Now we are going to form the equation whose roots are in the form alpha plus beta into alpha plus gamma beta plus gamma into beta plus alpha and alpha plus ga uh, gamma into gamma plus beta. Now we consider y is equal to alpha plus beta into gamma plus alpha. By taking multiplication of these two factors we get alpha squared plus alpha gamma plus beta alpha plus beta gamma 
that is written as y is equal to alpha square plus p because the second part of this equation namely alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is p therefore we have alpha square is equal to y minus p this is this is equation 2 since x is equal to alpha is one of the root of the given equation 1 so it must satisfy the equation therefore we have alpha q plus p alpha plus q is equal to 0 that alpha cube is rewritten as alpha squared into alpha plus p alpha plus q is equal to 0 or y minus p into alpha plus p alpha plus q is equal to 0 here you replacing alpha squared by y minus p now we have y alpha minus p alpha plus p alpha plus q is equal to 0 or y alpha plus q is equal to 0 that is alpha is equal to minus q by y which implies alpha square is equal to q squared by y square take that to be equation 3 since equations the left hand side of the equations 2 and 3 are equal therefore we can equate the right hand sides also therefore we have y minus p is equal to q squared by y squared which implies y cube minus p y squared minus q square is equal to 0 this is the required equation now we have another example if alpha beta and gamma are the roots of the equation x cube plus 2 x squared plus 3 x plus 3 is equal to 0 then prove that sigma alpha squared by alpha plus 1 the whole squared equal to 13 proof goes like this we are given as x cube plus 2 x squared plus 3 x plus 3 is equal to 0 is a cubic equation and also we are given as alpha beta and gamma are the roots so in order to prove sigma alpha squared by alpha plus 1 the whole square is equal to 13 first we need to transform the given equation in x into uh, another equation in y when the roots are in the symmetric form such as alpha by alpha plus 1 beta by beta plus 1 and gamma by gamma plus 1 now we take y is equal to alpha by alpha plus 1 since x is equal to alpha is a root of the given equation so we write y as x by x plus 1 that is y into x plus 1 is equal to x or y x plus y minus x equal to 0 here we are taking x as common so that we have x into y minus 1 plus y equal to 0 or x is equal to minus y by y minus 1 or y by 1 minus y and substituting this x value in the given equation we get y by 1 minus y the whole cube plus 2 into y by 1 minus y the whole square plus 3 into y by 1 minus y plus 3 is equal to 0 by taking LCM we get y cube plus 2y squared into 1 minus y plus 3y into 1 minus y the whole square plus 3 into 1 minus y the whole cube equal to 0 which implies y cube plus 2y squared minus 2y cube plus 3y into y minus y the whole square is expanded as 1 plus y squared minus 2y plus 3 into 1 minus y the whole cube can be expressed as 1 minus y cube plus 3y squared minus 3y is equal to 0. Therefore, we have y cube plus 2y squared minus 2y cube plus 3y plus 3y cube minus 6y squared plus 3 minus 3y cube plus 9y squared minus 9y equal to 0. After simplification, we have minus y cube plus y square 5y squared minus 6y plus 3 is equal to 0 or y cube minus 5y squared plus 6y minus 3 equal to 0 this is equation 1 this is the required equation whose roots are alpha by alpha plus 1 beta by beta plus 1 and gamma by gamma plus 1 for a convenient we take alpha dash is equal to alpha by alpha plus 1 
and beta dash equal to beta by beta plus 1 and gamma dash by gamma divided by gamma plus 1. Here again you are using the relation between roots and coefficient. Therefore, we get from equation 1 sum of the roots alpha dash plus beta dash plus gamma dash equal to 5 and sum of the product of the roots taken two at a time namely alpha dash beta dash plus beta dash gamma dash plus gamma dash alpha dash equal to 6 and product of the roots alpha dash into beta dash into gamma dash equal to 3. Now we are going to prove that alpha dash the whole square plus beta dash the whole square plus gamma dash the whole square is equal to 13. Now consider alpha dash square plus beta dash square plus gamma dash square which can be written as alpha dash plus beta dash plus gamma dash the whole square minus 2 times of alpha dash beta dash plus beta dash gamma dash plus gamma dash alpha dash since as we know from algebraic identities a square plus b square plus c square can be written as a plus b plus c the whole square minus 2ab minus 2bc minus 2ac therefore we have by replacing alpha dash plus beta dash plus gamma dash by 5 as well as alpha dash beta dash plus gamma dash beta dash plus gamma dash alpha dash by 6 we get 50 5 square minus 12 that is finally we have 13 thus we proved sum of the roots namely alpha squared by alpha plus 1 the whole squared plus beta squared by beta plus 1 the whole squared plus gamma squared by gamma plus 1 the whole square is equal to 13. Thank you students.